Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths App. So today in this video I'll tell you about the integral and the division properties of Laplace and inverse Laplace transforms. So to begin with let us start with the Laplace transform for integral. So Laplace transform of 0 to t integral f t dt is 1 by s f s right. So that means whenever we are dividing we are taking an integral from 0 to t on the right hand side it is getting converted into a division property that fs is getting divided by s. The next formula is for Laplace transform for division by t. So if we have Laplace of ft equal to fs then Laplace of 1 by t ft is integral s to infinity fs ds right. So it's very interesting that if we have division on the left side it becomes an integral property on the right hand side if we have an integral on the left hand side it becomes a division on the right hand side only the parameters they change so on the left hand side when we are dealing with laplace it is a function in t and on the right hand side it is a function in s so in the previous formula we said that if we are integrating the function ft from 0 to t on the right hand side the function fs is getting divided by s now here here we are taking ft by t so that means we are dividing the function by t so in this case on the right hand side we are integrating it from s to infinity right so and the next formula is for inverse Laplace transform for derivative and in case of inverse Laplace transform Laplace inverse of s to infinity fs ds is 1 by t ft by t right and ft is what it is basically Laplace inverse of fs right so let us try to apply these properties and the questions and see how they are solved. We need to find out the Laplace transform of sine 2t by t. So how to calculate Laplace of sine 2t by t. So here first of all you need to identify the basic function and then you need to see that which properties you need to apply to arrive at the final answer. So here you can see that sine 2t is getting divided by t. So you can apply the division property here. So the basic function that we are supposed to start with is sine 2t. So what is Laplace of sine 2t? Everybody knows it is 2 upon s square plus 2 square that is 4. Right. So this is my first step how to begin the question. Now in the second step we are dividing the sine 2t by t. So when we divide it by t what will happen? On the right hand side we have integration from s to infinity 2 upon s square plus 4 integration with respect to s right. So you can see that 2 is can be taken constant this is ds upon s square plus 4 so 4 can be written as 2 square so we know that dx upon s square plus a square is 1 by a tan inverse x by a so it is 1 by 2 tan inverse s by 2 integration from s to infinity so 2 cancels off we get tan inverse infinity minus tan inverse s by 2 what is tan inverse infinity it is pi by 2 minus tan inverse s by 2 and pi by 2 minus tan inverse s by 2 becomes cot inverse s by 2. so this becomes our answer Right. Okay. So let us try to do another question. So we have to find out the Laplace transform for 0 to t sin t by t dt. Right. So your step should be correct and the, method, the way you are applying those properties you have to see that where you need to apply the minimum steps. Right. So you can see that first if the basic function is sine t, it is getting divided by t and then we are taking the integral from 0 to t. So two properties are being applied here. One is division by t and the second one is the integral property. So what is my basic function? We start with Laplace of sine t. What is Laplace of sine t? It is 1 upon s square plus 1, right? Now sin t is getting divided by t. So when we divide it by t on the right hand side we have integration s to infinity 1 by s square plus 1 ds. 
So this is basically tan inverse S from S to infinity. So this is tan inverse infinity which is pi by 2 minus tan inverse S and that becomes simply cot inverse S. Right. And then we need to apply Laplace of 0 to t sine t by t dt. So when we have integral on the left hand side, what happens in our answer? The answer gets divided by s. So your answer becomes cot inverse s divided by s. So this becomes my final part. Right. So I'm just repeating the steps. We started from sine t. Laplace of sine t is 1 upon s square plus 1. Then we divided sine t by t. We got integral from s to infinity. We solved it. We got cot inverse s. And finally, we took the integral from 0 to t. So it became 1 by s cot inverse s. Right? Okay. So now let's move on to the next question and see how it will be done. We need to evaluate Laplace of e raised to power minus 4t sine 3t by t. So again here, you can see that two properties are being applied. So my basic function is basically sine 3t. So what is Laplace of sine 3t? It is 3 upon s square plus 3 square. So now let us divide sine 3t by when we divide sine 3t by t, it will become s to infinity 3 upon s square plus 3 square integration with respect to x. So it is 3 into 1 by 3 tan inverse s by 3 limits from s to infinity. So 3 gets cancelled. We'll get tan inverse infinity which is pi by 2 minus tan inverse s by 3. So that is finally cot inverse s by 3. Right. Now then we have Laplace of sorry it's not integral. We have Laplace of e raised to power minus 4t multiplied by sine 3t by t. So if with the function exponential term is getting multiplied it is the first shifting property. So s gets shifted to s minus a. a is minus 4 so s will get shifted to s plus 4. So we have cot inverse s plus 4 divided by 3. s gets shifted to s plus 4. Right? Okay. So that's all. So I hope you have understood these properties. And if you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. Thank you so much.